Welcome back to Quinkley Transport. My name is Justin. I'm going to be hopping in this John Deere wheel loader for a little bit. Got a truck coming in with a load of compost. Uh, it's stuff that we blend in with our topsoil. And as you know, let me turn this heat down. This past year, I had a topsoil screener in. We sell, you know, we sell a couple thousand yards of topsoil uh, that is just like out of our yard, in our Rochester yard and our uh, Geneva yard. So we sell, we sell a couple thousand yards. I mean, it's quite a bit. What I plan on doing is kind of trying to stretch it out a little bit. So I have some compost coming in. I just want to kind of see what it looks like, see if it's something that I want to add in to kind of stretch out the soil. I'm like, I want to get some sand as well. Um, this stuff is really heavy. The So it's nice to have something with it, but there is already a little bit of compost in there. So you can kind of see on these piles, it's, it's darker up top. Um, so it does have a little bit of compost already in there, but we have more dirt that we haul in randomly here and there. I think I'm going to try to clean this area up and then get a trailer backed in here and unloaded. All right, guys, so the first load of compost is here. We've got a belt trailer, and we're going to try to get them backed in there, see if we can get that to happen. And I'll show you too how this belt trailer works. I'll try to guide them back. not fun stuff. A little bit sticky too. So if you're here, he just started up his wet line. I don't have gloves, so I'm not gonna attempt the door. Because this is manure. Look at that. See, he just pops those turnbuckles, lifts that door, and then that door will swing. Well, you got to undo that lever yet. Smells amazing. Yeah. If only you guys could smell. That's a pile of possibles for that. Make a big pile. Oh, it is wanting to stick on the walls a little bit. Yeah. Just a little bit, but I think it'll fall down in. It. Yeah, it it, I'm pretty sure it will. There it comes. Pushes it out actually pretty good. Oh. 
So a walking floor, you can actually just put it in neutral and it would push you right front. A lot of times these belt trailers, it's not really what they're designed for to push you front, but they will push a little bit. Here he's kind of in the mud and not the idealist condition. So it, it a lot of times it won't push you. But if you see how it's hanging up there on the side walls, so I think that will eventually come out. Of course, as I speak, here it comes. So that's the beauty of uh, of these belts. You just kind of let that belt go, and it'll continually uh, push. So I'm eager to see what this stuff looks like, you know, in in till like next spring. Put on a pile and uh, let it let it get really old, aged, and compost. It looks fine, so it should slide right through a screen. Um, see what happens. And uh, you know, so this is a another reason. You know, sometimes guys will fuss. Or when I talk about fuel mileage, we don't get good fuel mileage with the trucks. You know, we're four and a half to five to five and a half. It kind of varies. But when they unload, every time he unloads, he's got to use his wet line. His truck's got to idle to be able to run that belt, the hydraulic system to run that belt. Also, uh, electric trucks, now you got to have a little engine sitting under your belt trailer to be able to run that belt. Or somehow they have to have a wet line that hooks up to an electric truck to be able to run that belt. So that's why uh, electric trucks are probably pretty far distant in our in our future um might be a while see it's really fine it's coming it just takes time yeah if i can stab the brakes once the bottom's clean well and you don't got to be too picky because I think you're going to go right back and grab a couple more. So. It's super sticky. I wonder if the front's coming. Could be it just start working its way in the front and come back. So, and this is where it gets debatable, right? You know, so a walking floor, he was just asking me, would a walking floor be better or worse? Sometimes a walking floor in some of these scenarios will walk this a lot better. It won't click, you know, won't cling to the sides. And uh, especially like if you're hauling a couple loads, you don't really have to worry about it, about sweeping the floor. I think eventually it'll work its way down. But gives you a little idea. So he's going to finish unloading this. It's truck 116. Now that I got the stuff sticking to my boots, that's why I wear boots. Never know what to get into. Kind of a mess this time of year. There you can see that flap. Just see the flaps moving? That's that belt. Oh, and this loader, so this dash, I don't remember when I bought this loader, the dash was always kind of blinking a little bit. Well, I think it went out completely. So we're gonna work on that this winter. We're gonna try to update the dash, figure out exactly what's wrong with it. I think we have to get it sent off um, and the loader will be down for a little bit when we do that. So good wintertime project. Truck 147. Usually this guy pulls the tank trail. But he is running dump. More than likely haul a little bit of salt. It's our wintertime gig. Well, welcome to a winter wonderland. Very overcast, and this is Lake Effect Snow. Here in upstate New York, we have 
there's several lakes around here. We got a couple local lakes that are decent size, but the biggest one is Lake Ontario. And that's where we get the lake effect snow from. Uh, usually Buffalo gets it the worst and kind of west of Buffalo and then Lake, well, that would be Lake Erie and then Lake Ontario uh, up by Oswego, Tug Hill region. They would get it also. So something I want to show you guys real quick. Some of the trucks are just going back in the yard. Let's go check it out. If you remember, I was talking about winning a safety award. Well, let me show you. All right, guys, here it is. Check it out. Let's see if I can get this set up here. Is that cool or what? I know that glass glaring in the uh, in the camera is hard to see. But Fortis is our insurance company, and uh, this is the award that they sent to us, which makes sense because I'm glad I didn't have to truck this thing back from Bahamas. <laughs> so that's where the meeting was. But yes, it's awesome to be a part of a team, group, a company, coworkers that care about safety. And uh, it's awesome to get this award and to be recognized for safety. I'm thankful that, and I want to continue that every employee, every coworker can get home safe every night. So there you go. Now I'll show you a little bit what's going on here in the shop. Um, here's truck 154 in. This one is getting those tires put on. Remember I talked about those Continentals? Hoping they, uh, hoping they do a good job. So they also have to set up the uh, system to track, sorry, they gotta set up the TPMS system for this rig. So we gotta get that set up. Then, this thing's gonna have Continentals the whole way around. Uh, these other trucks, uh, usually they are in for services. Couple of the trucks here, trailers, forklifts. They're working on it all. Truck 106. All right, guys, and that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Peace out.